Hi, welcome all of you. My name is Ashish and this is the first video of the video series Amazon Web Services Solution Architect Associate Level Exam. In this video, we will start on how to create an EC2 instance in AWS. By EC2, I mean virtual machine. And before that, if you do not have an account on Amazon.com, you have to Amazon the console and if you don't know how to go there you have to type in if I open up a new private window and go to Google AWS console sign up just click on here you will have to click on create a free account And after that, after adding all of your information in this window, it says AWS accounts include 12 months of free tier access, which includes the services like Amazon EC2, S3, Amazon DynamoDB, and everything else. So EC2 is what we will discuss today, a part of EC2, how to launch an instance in Amazon. S3 is related to storage, DynamoDB is related to database. So we will cover all the topics from uh, Route 53 to VPS to Elastic Beanstalk, DynamoDB, non-relational database management services, how to create a security group, Elastic Storage Services, Glacier and everything else. But to start with, we will start with EC2 instances. So I'm back on my machine. So if you will go to the home screen of AWS, which you get as soon as you log in, if you're not seeing EC2 on the home screen, just type in EC2 here and select virtual servers in the cloud. It'll take you to the next screen in which you'll see a dashboard of EC2. I do not have any running instances. You can skip all of the rest of the options as of options as of now because we will discuss them in the future videos. Here we are trying to create an instance. So you have to click on launch instance. If you will just click on drop down, you get the same option of launching an instance here. So it gives you an option which instance you want to select. You want to create a Linux, you want to create Ubuntu, you want Windows inbuilt SQL licensing. So I click on AWS Marketplace here to look for a pre-configured image. Let me type in Windows here and see what I get. I get multiple options here for uh, Windows. Let me look for Windows 2012 R2. core server it says secured IIS on Microsoft Windows 2012 starting from the prices are from zero dollar zero point one zero dollar per hour till 79 I will tell you how you can save your prices on reserved instances and other types of instances when you make let's say we want this here I'll just select it and it's an instance type for secured IIS on Windows 2012 R2 it's the detail of the image provider so it depends upon the size you select if you are going for the nano version it's the basic price here you can look for the sizes here a lot of options for you Click on continue. I am going for T2 uh, Nano and it's free tier eligible as well. So for this practice nugget, I'll select the free tier version. Next, configure details. Number of instances, I want one. I'll tell you what is an auto scaling group. 
afterwards a virtual private connection is the network that it's the by default connection that they have given me if i want i can create a new vpc but these networking things uh, we will cover in the upcoming videos it's an identity access management role which directory if you are joining it to a domain which can be on which can be on the on premises or in the cloud we'll leave rest of the options as default next and let's say i just want the default size of the storage that will be attached to this instance that i'm making and i'm using ssd gp2 i'm just keeping it basic i'm not adding any new volume i'm not adding any tags tags will be used if you want to differentiate between the projects for these virtual machines let's say you have multiple projects in your company and if you want a machine to be tagged to a particular project then you will add a tag and let's say i want to tag this machine to marketing i will Its security group consists of all the ports that will be open and that through the port number through which your machine can be communicated from the outside world over the internet or from the other machines. Just know the basic thing that I've told you just now for the security group. I will cover this in detail in the next video. the information from AWS regarding what all things that can be done more on this machine if you want to review there are the instance details storage we have not configured any additional storage tax we have only configured marketing you want to edit it edit here click on launch so it's an important part here for the security that has been provided by AWS here. I want to create a new key pair. It will be make sure that you save this key pair with you because if you lose this key pair you will not be able to log on to the uh, machine. So it is downloaded at my end launch instances so it will take its time and I will be back as soon as it is launched so you will uh, see this screen and at the back end your uh, Amazon EC2 instance is getting launched and when you click on view instances it will take you back to that dashboard that you saw at the beginning it's the notification regarding your instances it says initializing so you'll have to wait till the time it gets initialized and you'll be able to log in okay so it has finally completed the checks and it is ready for me to launch so if you just scroll down you'll see the public IP address here through which you'll be able to access this EC2 instance. Just copy it. Open up the MSTSC or in the IP address. So Either you can connect it from here or you can click on connect. It says download remote desktop file. As you only have the downloaded file that you created a key pair, you have to get the password for login. Choose file. Select it decrypt password your password is this don't mind copying it because I'll delete this machine after this lab hit 
here you go okay it says please wait for the user profile service it's logging me in it's windows server 2012 r2 So it depends on you if you want to go with the secure any cloud config wizard. I'm going to cancel it for now. It's not letting me. Okay, I think it's not let. Enter your instance ID. So as you can see, it gives us the bg info as well on the newly configured ec2 instance on the amazon web services cloud and we created it to be a iis configured pre-built machine it has given us the iis as well it's the instance name and then you can configure all of your second set you want so this is how you create the EC2 instance on the Amazon cloud. I hope this was informative to you. Please mention your feedback and uh, your comments about this new video series that we have started today. I'll try to be very consistent with the video series that I'm making on Azure 70-533 and Amazon as well. If you have any queries, feedback, please mention in your comments and don't forget to share and subscribe to this channel for the latest updates on cloud technology. Thank you. Have a great day ahead.